Hey guys, it's Cor Ross and welcome to the 6 News Roundup. We're rounding up all the Rainbow 6 News over the last week or so. So let's start with some new Twitch drops. These are charms you can get for watching the Pro League live streams that are starting on August 4th and continue throughout that week. And of course the August Major would have been one of the biggest events this year but of course it's been cancelled and it's all done remotely now. So of course if you want to watch and actually get the Twitch charms these are the rules. So you'll get the copper one from watching 2 hours the bronze one for 7, the silver one for 13, the gold for 20, the platinum for 25, and the diamond for 30. Now, as usual, I recommend if you're going to try and get these, just take it quite casually. Don't actually try and farm them or anything because it could just not be worth it for some charms. So up to you, of course, if you want it though. Certainly, uh, you can go ahead and do it. And these can be redeemed on PC, PS4, and Xbox One as long as you've linked your Ubisoft and Twitch accounts together. And that's from any of the official Rainbow Six Siege Twitch live streams, and it's from August 4th onwards. Next up, we have the mid-season balancing patch. It was released on PC at the beginning of the week. It was supposed to come out on Tuesday, but there was unforeseen circumstances, which stopped it being deployed, and then it was deployed on Wednesday. And then the Xbox and PS4 patch was supposed to be released on the same week, but no sign of it yet, so maybe early next week, perhaps. Now, the console update also brings with it the changes that were in patch 2.2. This is 2.3 that it's coming out with, but uh, it's bundled in with the console version because the console version didn't get 2.2. Now, what this brings in is what we've already gone over plenty of times, but there's a few additions. So they've changed in-game notifications. So they've made some updates to notification system to make uh, future pop-ups less spammy, which is good because almost every new season, I think it is, all my notifications get reset and it's really annoying. And then they've gone and switched on two-factor authentication needed for rank in the APAC region, which is surprising, the fact that that wasn't done for that region. And I guess there was reasons at the time, but still, that would have meant in that region that cheaters would be able to get in there far easier than other regions. Although it should be noted that even though it's in this patch notes, the actual change doesn't come into effect until August 11th, giving you some time to either play without two-factor or get two-factor set up before then. They've also gone and, of course, put in all the balancing changes that came with the mid-season. So Gridlock has faster tracks. Oryx is effectively better at his dash now. And Fuse has got an extra cluster charge now. So he's up to four from three. Let me know what you think of those changes now that you can actually play them. Of course, they were in the test server for a while. Also, they updated the patch notes with the last little change here. So this was originally just about Nomad, but they corrected it to also mention that if Oryx pushes a player through a wall, just like an air jab pushes a player through a wall, they will both now do 5 damage to that player. So that's pretty cool. I do wonder if it wouldn't be the craziest idea if Oryx actually did 5 damage when he impacts a player, and then an R5 dash when he throws him through a wall. Not that 5 or 10 damage is going to get you a kill, really. But it does mean that now Oryx can kill someone, and of course no man can kill someone, send them through walls, which is kind of cool. And along with that, the patch comes with a bunch of bug fixes as well. And then on Friday, the developers put out a blog post detailing matchmaking and specifically going into MMR, the actual ranking system. So if you go play ranked and you get into silver or gold, or if you go up and down, it's all based on wins and losses and you go up and down a rank. But also casual has its own hidden ranking system. Whereas if you lose a lot of games, you go down in that ranking system, but you just don't see it. Or of course, if you're winning, you go up. But also casual and unranked use the same MMR. So if you lose in unranked, you're also effectively losing in casual as well. But it's a very extensive blog post on the MMR system. Now, I'm not going to go into details on it here because it's pretty simple. You can go read it if you want to. And I would think the main takeaway is the fact that they're explaining it means they have no intentions of changing how the ranked system works. So I expect it's going to continue as it is for the long term. Now, they do mention one little tweak they're looking at doing, and that is when a cheater is banned on PC, a PC player can then have their MMR reset depending on if they won or lost against those games. Now, that could be that you played against a player who wasn't cheating and you won, but maybe they then downloaded a cheat, they used it, they got banned, all their previous rank games that season are deleted. As a result, you lose MMR for their games being taken off the record. They do mention that that is something they have heard in feedback and they are looking into changing that, but 
no time frames, nothing like that. I wouldn't expect anything changed anytime soon. And it's also mentioned that it is a very complicated system. So it's much more likely, I think anyway, that this will take a very long time to implement. And for that issue on PC, I think you're just gonna have to deal with it for a considerable amount of time more, I would expect. And then to finish off today's video, we have Kaid. So Kaid has a new bundle out in the store. And it's good because he, I think I've, I've literally got the cowboy cosmetics on him, which isn't the best cosmetics for Kaid. It's not bad, but it's not the best. So this actually looks really good. I'm kind of tempted because I've been playing him quite a lot. And uh, this is definitely a nice uniform, headgear, and weapon skin. And the charm is even quite cool as well. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think of all this in the comments below. And also, I'd love to ask you... What do you think they're going to do next season for balancing? And I only want your most outlandish ideas of what you think they'll do. Like there's currently a rumor that Jaeger is going to go down to one ADS, but it will have infinite shots. If that would end up being the case, that would be nuts. It'd be absolutely crazy. And at this point, I don't even know if it'd have a massive impact on his pick rate at this point. But uh, we'll see soon enough. I think YouTubers will be getting to play the new season pretty soon. And of course, the actual reveal will be under three weeks away at this point. And not to mention that we also have the big seasonal event coming, which will probably start up on Tuesday because they're running off days to actually start it. So I think it'll probably launch on Tuesday and that's going to be robot themed. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.